What's up? You might be wondering where I am right now. I'm basically in, not a dorm, but it's like an apartment, but I just moved off to college, so I'm in a film school, which means more videos for you guys. Also means more tutorials, and uh, that's enough about me, because you probably don't care. Let's get into how to use Widgie. I've been getting requests on how to use Widgie. Which, uh, as you guys may know, is one of those apps where you can go and uh, change the widgets on your home screen. So I'm gonna come in and show you guys a quick tutorial because my old one has been a little outdated. It's about two years old. So basically, once you're in the Widgie interface, all you gotta do is hit the Create button right here. And then once you hit Create, you gotta pick what size you want your widgets. So you can do medium, large, small, and then they now have the extra large, but that's only for iPads, um, not for phones yet. And then so you can go in, let's say we're gonna create a small one, right? So this is the interface that you're gonna be uh, dealing with when you wanna drag things around, like put things on top of other things or behind other things. So you gotta hit Add Layer, and then you can choose from all of these different things. So you could do, uh, let's say we wanna do like a motivational message with a little image behind it. So we're gonna do Image, and then you can take your fingers. I don't know if this will be good on camera, but you can see I just kind of zoom in with my fingers on the screen. I'll do a little uh, a little thing for it. And once you zoom in, you can go here and you want to pick an image. So you can pick from an API list, which is what I'm going to do. And maybe we want the background to be like some picture from Unsplash. If you guys don't know Unsplash, that just shows random pictures. Um, let's do a picture of a random fox in the back. We want this picture to be a little bit blurred because we're going to put the text on top of it. So you go here. And then you're gonna wanna scroll, or here as in the effects button. And then you're gonna wanna scroll to scroll down to blur and then add the blur effect. And then you wanna go home. So there's your image layer on the bottom. Now we're gonna wanna add that motivational text, right? So we can do the same thing where we drag our fingers out and then we go to the very last box, which is like a little box and it'll be titled data. And you can go edit and then uh, delete this uh, text right here. And then you wanna change this to something from the API list, but you can change it to any of these. So they have a uh, agenda, countdown, any of those. Uh, countdown's really cool, you could add a little countdown thing. Um, and then scroll down, and then you wanna find, oh, the top one. So it's gonna be very top, it says a vice slip. And then there you go. Now I know you don't see anything yet, and that's because it's below the image. So if you go back all the way to our layers, you wanna hit edit, and then drag it above the image, that way we can see it. And let's say you don't like how this text is, or the font, or whatever, you can go in here, um, you can change the font right here to like tons of different things. They have all kinds of options. And then you could also scroll to the color. You could change the color to black. You can make it bigger by just dragging your fingers across, but let's say you want to be more precise. You can do something in small steps. So you use size to like small or large uh, positions like that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then once you want to go and add this to your home screen, you want to go to manage and perfect you all you want to do is hit small number one so you got a small number one and then you have your imported ones you're getting started ones and then the ones i created which is at the very top right here you click it and there we go now we have the small widget so you, all you want to do now is just add the widget widget to your home screen so you hold down you hit add go to widget and then there you go chat to your home screen see there you go it looks really ugly but Nonetheless, it is there, and you can do some cool stuff, but nonetheless, it is there, and you can do